three, two, one, on the air. Ladies and gentlemen, Arnie Hoffman and Laughing Hyena Tapes proudly presents The Funniest Man in the South. He has appeared on HBO, Showtime, and David Letterman, and has entertained at Bill Clinton's inaugural ball. He's worked every major showroom from Hollywood to Atlantic City to Myrtle Beach. Please make welcome the pussy preacher, Carolina's own Dr. J. Hickman. I'm telling you what, I'm so happy to have you fuckers here. Y'all are normal motherfuckers, you know that? You come in here to look at pussy, hear some dirty jokes, get drunk, crawl home, anybody don't like it, fuck them. Spend all your money, fuck the rent. I went home last night, the old lady said, what you mean come here half drunk? I said, I run out of fucking money. I had some bucks, bitch. I'd be where I was at. Now women want to be equal? God damn right. Let women be equal. Let them drop down three or four fucking notches. <laughs> women are superior. You don't think women are superior? You are dumb ass. You are dumb fuck head. You don't think women are superior. They got that pussy. And that dick leads you around your life looking for pussy. Let me tell you something. Women got half the money and all the pussy. And once you got all the pussy, it's just a matter of time for you got all the money. Cause I ain't ashamed to say it. God suck my own dick. I'd have saved myself $60,000 last year. is something that's forever. You can't kill a pussy. A dick will die. I've been happily married four fucking times. My first old lady, she was a woman's liver, divorced me for opening the car door for her. We was going 55 mile an hour, but fuck yeah. My second wife, she was Jewish. I bought her a water bed and her side froze over. I made her come one time. I know I did. She dropped her fucking nail file. <laughs> My third wife, she had the best pussy I ever had. Trouble, she thought it's so good. Everybody ought to have some of it. <laughs> and they were lined out that goddamn driveway. <laughs> and my fourth wife, she was an uppity bitch too, that bitch. Take me somewhere I've never been before. I took the bitch to the kitchen. She made meatloaf that glowed in the fucking dark. Had the only dog in the neighborhood that begged for Alka-Seltzer. You think this bitch couldn't cook? The flies chipped in, bought us a fucking screen door. so hard at getting that pussy sometimes. I worked on this pussy for three months now. I done bought the bitch roses. God damn, it was wonderful too. She was pretty. God damn, had them muscular legs. And I mean, I bought her flowers. I took her a place down there. I even took her to Benny Hanna's. Man, I was going all out. I took her to Dante's Steakhouse. I bought her goddamn jewelry. She still wouldn't give me that pussy. One night she says to me, I'm groping at her tits and shit, you know, trying to, you know, get her hot, you know, and shit. I'm starting to think I gotta put this bitch in a blender to stir her up, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm feeling her tits and she had them nice tits, you know, them, goddamn, and my dick was hard. 
I'm, I'm talking blue vein throbber, Bubba. <laughs> you know your dick's hard. You ain't got enough skin left to blink. <laughs> you start winking and drawing up. That's a hard fucking dick. Now I'm gonna pay. <laughs> so she says to me one night, you know where I've never been? And I'm expecting any goddamn thing, Italy or fucking Paris or some shit. I'm gonna have to hop the fucking house and shit. I'm serious about this pussy now. I've been standing around fucking myself for days. You know, just walking, walking around just oh fuck shit, don't affect me, goddamn. I'm just, you. She said, I've never been to Disney World. Fuck, that's in my budget. <laughs> fucking Disney World. I said, you mean to tell me them cheap bastards you've been dating never took you to Disney World? I got real indignant about the shit, you know? Never took you to fucking Disney World. What kind of fucking creeps that you been running around with? Fuck. We get to Disney World, I get one of them big fucking suites up on top of that fucking building up there with all the flags on it. I forget the name of the building. $192 a fucking day. We get in the room, she says, I'm hungry. I said, what you want to eat? I like some steak and lobster. All right, motherfucker. We're gonna get you some steak and lobster. She can't just have steak or lobster. I want steak and lobster. We go eat, we get back to the motel room. I start groping at her again. She says, oh, no, no. Let's take a shower. I want it to be right. I said, bitch, it'd be right in the gravel in the parking lot. I've been waiting fucking four months on this pussy, okay? She said, no, I want it to be right. She said, why don't you order some champagne? I said, what kind do you like? What's the bitch say? Of course. I love Dom Perignon. I guess you do $190 a bottle, you cunt, God damn it. But I'm still serious about this pussy. I done gone this far. God damn right. I got the Dom Perry on, chilled the glasses, had the bucket of ice. She got out of the shower. God damn it, man, she had that towel. You know how a woman can wrap one of them hotel towels around the top of their tits? And it hangs just right where you can just see a little bit of that pubic hair. And women, they get out of the shower. God damn women just look so sexy. Cause see, us men, we look like drowned rats when we get out of the fucking shower, you know? Cause women pat themselves dry, they pat pat themselves because they don't want to fuck their skin up. They pat and pat. And they pat and they pat and they pat and they pat. Us men, we wipe. We save that asshole the last thing because then the towel is done. <laughs> we wipe and wipe and wipe. We hit that asshole by a towel. You go on, motherfucker. She drops that towel off and gets underneath that sheet. And goddamn, when I got naked, by the time I got in the bed and rolled over, I had a kickstand. <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker, when I rolled over, it just stopped me and went, Thunk. I mean, we're talking goddamn hard dick. How hard was it? <laughs> Harder than yours ever got, sir. <laughs> And I inserted my dick in that pussy, and goddamn, my nuts started talking. <laughs> they were talking to one another, said, which one's up is going first? <laughs> Cause I mean, I've been waiting on this pussy a long time. And I'm in the middle of fucking her, and she starts this shit giving directions. Man, I don't like that shit when women start giving you fucking direction, you get goddamn, you, you know, you get all fucking and you, you're fucking real good and everything's going along just great and everything's going along and all of a sudden that bitch start doing shit. Faster, 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 faster. faster. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Make a circle, make a circle, make a circle now. Faster, 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 faster. Easy, easy. I said, what are you, bitch, a traffic cop? I'm trying to fuck you. <laughs> And 
I'm in that pussy, and I am just getting ready to come. And she goes, no, no, stop. Rolled over like to broke my goddamn dick off. <laughs> now I'm looking at the bitch like, don't make me do 20 years for some of this pussy. I said, what's wrong? She said, I forgot my diaphragm. I said, get me an ashtray with some masking tape. She said, okay, I'll let you do it if you promise not to come in me. I promise. I'm gonna fill you up with high test bits, you goddamn. <laughs>